So have you ever noticed how, when you've got a fairway wood, you might be on the tee, you get it on that nice little tee, you stand up there full of confidence, and you put a decent swing on it, and you get that good solid one straight at target. Didn't feel the best strike, but at 222 carrying 238 total, not too much to moan about. But then there's the other end of the scale, isn't there, where the ball's down on the ground, you've hit a great tee shot, and you need to get that fairway wood going, and you stand up there, and you cold top it, you maybe fat it, or the really good one just feels a little bit thin. Now, for anyone who's really knowledgeable, you'll have spotted from the first shot on the tee why I got away with it and why I struggle when the ball's on the ground. So very quickly comment below if you spotted why. Now, the reason was, when the golf ball is on the ground, we need the lowest point of our golf swing to be after the golf ball so that we hit ball and then ground. But when the ball was on the little tee, my low point was actually slightly behind the ball. So the club then was traveling up slightly as it hit the ball. Now, I missed the ground and was able to pick the ball off the tee and we could see the strike location was a little low on the face, but I don't get away with that when it's on the floor. So let's talk about the mistakes I see people make. So I think far too often they get the fairway wood in the hand and because it's a wood, they think of it a bit too much like it's driver. So they get that ball position well forward. They kind of maybe get the hips that way, get that little bit of spine tilt away. Everything about that is promoting low point behind so that the club's traveling up as it hits the ball. Now that's fantastic when the ball's in the air, but when the ball's on the floor, that is a recipe for disaster. So the first alteration we're gonna make is we're gonna actually just hit one initially from very much in the middle of the stance. So almost like you do a short iron. So you keep the ball in the middle, set up exactly like you would with an iron, feel those hands are a little bit ahead. And as we get towards the top of the back spin, we wanna feel that we shift the pressure onto that lead side. And then we should touch the ground ahead of the golf ball. So this could come out very, very low, but we want to just get a nice, good, solid strike on this one. It definitely came out low. So low point suddenly three and a half inches ahead. Launching down at seven degrees or six, and six degrees, but even that one, a more solid contact in the carry at 217 and rolling out 239. Now, Launching that low, I would probably just about get away with that with my club head speed. But what we wouldn't want to see is the club was moving down nearly four degrees there and really de in the club. We don't want to see that much with something like three wood. So if that was ball in the middle, and this is where a little bit, it's not exactly the same for everybody. You might only get slightly ahead when you do that. So you might only need to move the ball forward half an inch or an inch. I'm gonna move the ball a couple of inches forward, but probably still further back than a lot of golfers would have it. And again, I'm gonna treat this exactly like a wooden iron, so that the low point's head, club's traveling down. Felt even better than the previous one. And we can see there, low point 1.1 inches ahead. Club's traveled down now 1.6 degrees, launching at nearer 12 degrees. 235 carry and 256 total. So that ability to control where the low point of the swing is, especially when the ball's on the floor, is vital. And like I said before, it's not a one size fits all. In an ideal world, the low point of your swing at impact would be round about your left armpit. But everyone moves a little different. So some golfers might want the ball a little further forward. Some golfers might want the ball a little bit further back. But as a general rule, most golfers are getting the ball too far forward with the fairway woods, which is great off fluffy lies and tees, but as soon as it's that slightly tighter lie, that's just not gonna work for you. So don't be afraid of just experiment a little bit, anywhere from center, definitely never as far forward as driver, but just experiment with those and get that feel that you're touching the ground after where the ball would be 
That way we're going to be presenting the club correctly to the golf ball, using higher up the face, which has got more loft. And then as you can build some confidence in those, it might feel that you're swinging nice and easy to begin with. And even the one that's not out the middle, still going to get out there. That was a good solid strike though, just got the club a little bit more closed and down that left side. And as you build that confidence and feel that you've got that strike, all of a sudden you can say, right, can I put a little bit more speed into there and still retain that good low point control and then obviously good strike. And it's such a big advantage if you can start getting that club delivered well to the ball, get that good contact point and start maximizing those distances. Now I'm hitting three wood there Three wood might not be for everybody. It might be five wood, even seven wood. That's your most useful fairway wood that hits it the furthest. But what you've got to remember, for a lot of golfers, these are scoring clubs. If you're not hitting these well with your second shot, you're not getting down the hole. You're not giving yourself a chance to shoot a good score. And there's no point in being good off a tee and not being good off the fairway. Because after all, they're called fairway woods. They're not doubling up as a second driver. But like I said, don't be afraid. Set up exactly like you would body-wise with an iron. Move the ball position around a little bit to experiment what works for you. And then once you can stand up there, put that swing on it. And start hitting those fairway woods off the ground correctly every single time.